Hello everyone. Let's learn English. Are you ready? Learn English through a short story. The Crow and the Eagle The Crow and the Eagle The Crow and the Eagle It was a bright spring day. The sun was high in the blue sky. It was a bright spring day. The sun was high in the blue sky. It was a bright spring day. The sun was high in the blue sky. A herd of sheep was grazing contentedly on the hillside. A herd of sheep was grazing contentedly on the hillside. A herd of sheep was grazing contentedly on the hillside. The little lambs with their soft white coats and curly tails were playing among themselves. The little lambs with their soft white coats and curly tails were playing among themselves. The little lambs with their soft white coats and curly tails were playing among themselves. The shepherd, seeing that his flock was safe and happy, had fallen asleep under the spreading branches of a large old tree. The shepherd, seeing that his flock was safe and happy, had fallen asleep under the spreading branches of a large old tree. The shepherd, seeing that his flock was safe and happy, had fallen asleep under the spreading branches of a large old tree. Suddenly an eagle swooped down from the sky. Suddenly an eagle swooped down from the sky. Suddenly an eagle swooped down from the sky. It pounced on a little lamb and carried it off so swiftly that none of the other lambs even had the time to bleat. It pounced on a little lamb and carried it off so swiftly that none of the other lambs even had the time to bleat. It pounced on a little lamb and carried it off so swiftly that none of the other lambs even had the time to bleat. The sleeping shepherd heard nothing. The sleeping shepherd heard nothing. The sleeping shepherd heard nothing. A crow was sitting on the tree under which the shepherd lay asleep. A crow was sitting on the tree under which the shepherd lay asleep. A crow was sitting on the tree under which the shepherd lay asleep. He had seen how the eagle had caught the lamb and carried it off to his nest. He had seen how the eagle had caught the lamb and carried it off to his nest. He had seen how the eagle had caught the lamb and carried it off to his nest. What a wonderful way to get dinner, he thought. Why do crows look for old smelly food? What a wonderful way to get dinner, he thought. Why do crows look for old smelly food? What a wonderful way to get dinner, he thought. Why do crows look for old smelly food? 
the crow decided to do exactly as the eagle had done. The crow decided to do exactly as the eagle had done. The crow decided to do exactly as the eagle had done. It had looked easy enough. All he had to do was to decide which sheep he wanted. It had looked easy enough. All he had to do was to decide which sheep he wanted. It had looked easy enough. All he had to do was to decide which sheep he wanted. And swoop down upon it, hold it as firmly as he could in his claws and fly off with it. And swoop down upon it, hold it as firmly as he could in his claws and fly off with it. And swoop down upon it, hold it as firmly as he could in his claws and fly off with it. The crow looked down at the flock of sheep to decide which sheep he wanted. The crow looked down at the flock of sheep to decide which sheep he wanted. The crow looked down at the flock of sheep to decide which sheep he wanted. Just below the tree, by the shepherd, a big, old ram was grazing. Just below the tree, by the shepherd, a big, old ram was grazing. Just below the tree, by the shepherd, a big, old ram was grazing. He had curling horns and a thick, heavy fleece. He had curling horns and a thick, heavy fleece. He had curling horns and a thick, heavy fleece. He should be a good meal for me, thought the crow greedily. He should be a good meal for me, thought the crow greedily. He should be a good meal for me, thought the crow greedily. He was very hungry and the thought of a large juicy ram for lunch made his mouth water. He was very hungry and the thought of a large juicy ram for lunch made his mouth water. He was very hungry and the thought of a large juicy ram for lunch made his mouth water. The crow swooped silently and swiftly down onto the ram. The crow swooped silently and swiftly down onto the ram. The crow swooped silently and swiftly down onto the ram. Just as he had seen the eagle do and grasped it firmly by its fleece. Just as he had seen the eagle do and grasped it firmly by its fleece. Just as he had seen the eagle do and grasped it firmly by its fleece. The crow flapped his wings with all his strength, but could not lift the ram. The crow flapped his wings with all his strength, but could not lift the ram. The crow flapped his wings with all his strength, but could not lift the ram. The ram was large. He was much too heavy for the crow to carry. The crow tried again and again, but without success. 
The ram was large. He was much too heavy for the crow to carry. The crow tried again and again, but without success. The ram was large. He was much too heavy for the crow to carry. The crow tried again and again, but without success. The ram felt the crow on its back and was most annoyed. Just what do you think you are doing, you pesky bird? He snapped, glaring at him over his shoulder. The ram felt the crow on its back and was most annoyed. Just what do you think you are doing, you pesky bird? He snapped, glaring at him over his shoulder. The ram felt the crow on its back and was most annoyed. Just what do you think you are doing, you pesky bird? He snapped, glaring at him over his shoulder. Oh, oh, thought the crow, alarmed at the ram's fierce antics. Maybe this wasn't such a good idea after all. Oh, oh, thought the crow, alarmed at the ram's fierce antics. Maybe this wasn't such a good idea after all. Oh, oh, thought the crow, alarmed at the ram's fierce antics. Maybe this wasn't such a good idea after all. The crow tried to fly away, but he found he could not move. His claws were caught in the ram's thick fleece. The crow tried to fly away, but he found he could not move. His claws were caught in the ram's thick fleece. The crow tried to fly away. But he found he could not move. His claws were caught in the ram's thick fleece. The crow squawked loudly in fear and despair. The ram started running around the tree, bellowing with rage. The crow squawked loudly in fear and despair. The ram started running around the tree bellowing with rage. The crow squawked loudly in fear and despair. The ram started running around the tree, bellowing with rage. The shepherd woke up with a start. Who was making that horrible noise? Were his sheep in danger? The shepherd woke up with a start. Who was making that horrible noise? Were his sheep in danger? The shepherd woke up with a start. Who was making that horrible noise? Were his sheep in danger? The shepherd stood up. He stopped the ram as he ran by and calmed him with gentle words. The shepherd stood up. He stopped the ram as he ran by and calmed him with gentle words. The shepherd stood up. He stopped the ram as he ran by and calmed him with gentle words. The shepherd took a pair of shears from his sack. Holding the crow with one hand, he deftly snipped the fleece until the crow was free. The shepherd took a pair of shears from his sack. Holding the crow with one hand, he deftly snipped the fleece until the crow was free. The shepherd took a pair of shears from his sack. 
holding the crow with one hand, he deftly snipped the fleece until the crow was free. The crow, feeling silly and foolish, promised himself that from now on he would only do as other crows did. The crow, feeling silly and foolish, promised himself that from now on he would only do as other crows did. The crow, feeling silly and foolish, promised himself that from now on he would only do as other crows did. If you find the video useful, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel.